just got back from work, took a shower, that felt good. You know what I was thinking in the shower? This is the last time. Good morning, modern steaders. Good morning, girls. Oh, Blossom, I was hoping you were too big to fit in there. Sausage and links, come on. Let's go. You hear that? I know you do. Come on. You coming, Sausage? What about you, Lynx? You girls still haven't eaten all the apples. <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? You're in your dish. Here, get out of your dish. There you go. You girls are crazy. Where are all your buddies there, white chicken? You girls are making a mess. Here come the chickens. What do you want? I gave you your grain. You keeping an eye on all of us there, Figaro? You all seem to be doing good. Good morning, sir. Oh yeah, plenty of water still. Gonna have to either move New York City soon or just pick up my netting and move it all this way. And then we can get the chickens to eat the knotweed a little bit more and move them over into that knotweed. You girls just look so happy. You're in hog heaven over there. And say it's usually Figaro chasing Pluto, but now Pluto's chasing Figaro. I always thought it was supposed to be the dog chasing the cat, not the cat chasing the dog. Blossom. One of these days you're gonna get stuck in there. Girls wanna come out for a little bit? You gonna go out and find some apples?
What are you up to, Mr. Biggs? Good morning. I think I found Figaro's hiding spot. Tell me if you can see him. What are you doing, mister? You better not get stuck up there, mister. Walk down the branch this way, mister. Come on. Figaro. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I don't want to have to leave you in the tree when I go to work. Come on. Come down a little bit further before you jump. There you go. I can see it in your eyes. You want to jump. You're crazy. Oh, you're a crazy cat. Crazy cat. I know. I got to lock you in too before I leave. Buttercup. You're not supposed to be in there. <sighs> what am I going to do with you girls, huh? I got to go to work now, but I'll be right back in a second. <sighs> Just got back from work. Took a shower. That felt good. You know what I was thinking in the shower? This is the last time. I'm gonna be able to say, I just got home from work. It's official. I'm officially not working for anybody else now. I'm working for myself. Woo -hoo. And man, that's crazy. I wanted to thank all the loyal modern steaders and viewers of Lumna Acres for helping us being able to reach that goal. If it wasn't for all the modern steaders, I wouldn't be able to do this. Huh. You want to find some more apples? I don't think it's really sunk in yet. I planned on doing today's video about our four acres that we just had cleared. What we're doing with it right now and what our plans are in the future for it. Flew the drone this morning and everything. And then this afternoon I went, you know what? This is the last video of me having a full-time job. So let's celebrate that and thank all the modern steaders. I uh, hear some piggies. Man, they're doing an awesome job. Just bulldozing and clearing. What are you doing? You look like you're covered in mud. You keeping cool over there? It's a warm one, huh? Lynx, you gonna come out of the jungle? You hiding on us? You still got a bunch of apples to eat and I got more to pick for you. Oh, moose. I think most of the modern distetters have decided and you're their favorite animal. We better not tell my brother that. He dropped off Moose on Olivia's birthday weekend. He thought he was being a funny guy. Well, guess what? The joke's on him now, huh, Moose? 
you know what? I wish I could send all the modern setters some eggs. But it, I don't think that'd work out. So instead, we'll just show you all of our beautiful eggs we're collecting. These chickens that we got, we got Novagens and Easter egg layers from freedomhatchery.com. Man, they are laying awesome. They got some nice deep brown eggs, the Novagens, and the Easter egg layers are laying a nice big Moose, is that going to your head now that you're the favorite animal on YouTube? <sighs> That's just a beautiful egg. I think Moose's ego is getting even bigger now. What do you think, Moose? Oh, you're gonna be bashful? I guess not. You need to work on the ending. You do good till the very end. You guys keeping track of how many eggs we've gotten? I haven't. They're nice and clean though. I just got to thinking, I wonder if the chickens have been laying any more eggs over here. Oh yeah. We got four of them. I guess the pigs get a treat. This is like a Snickers bar to them. Just dropped one on the camera, guys. Ah. Then there was three. You gonna go back and get that? Or are you getting it, Pluto? Is that some good yolk? Hey, girls. I got something for you. Ready? Think we can hit links in the bot without it breaking? Links. Come on. I got something for you. And then the other one fell right there. We got some cleaning up to do. So, in an upcoming video, we're going to be talking about the four acres that we've had cleared. How come we're not doing anything with that four acres right now? And what our plans are for those four acres. So leave the thumbs up, leave the questions in the comments, and we'll be answering that in an upcoming video. We're going to make some quiche tonight for dinner. When Gina made her zucchini banana boats, she chopped up a bunch of peppers and onions. And we're going to saute up. We got so many eggs. Some of the breakfast sausage we made in our pasture to plate whole hog culinary class this early spring. This time we're gonna try something different and use a pizza dough for the crust.
Gotta put some cheese on the quiche and then put it back in the oven. I don't know if this is gonna be like a quiche or a breakfast pizza or neither. Right? Mmm, looks good. Yummy. So we're gonna have for breakfast all week too. I want to thank all the modern studies for watching the videos and supporting Lumna Acres. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be able to do this. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.